Zhou Chu how to use the wireless video monitoring feature of IPMAN S. First, set the MOOC switch on the side of IPMAN S to TX. Connect camera HDMI signal output to the HDMI in. If you use a monitor, then connect it to the HDMI out. Pay attention that camera HDMI signal must be 1080p60 or below. 1080 interlaced signal is not supported. You may use iPhone or iPad for monitoring. Scan QR code or search Zcam monitor in App Store. Download and install. Open the app. Click the bottom right wireless hotspot icon. It will prompt you to enter the SSID. Enter the SSID shown on the top left of the transmitting IPMAN S display. Click the arrow sign to register. Press join to proceed. If there is HDMI output signal from the camera, then the camera's live view will be shown on the app. If you want to add more iOS devices for live view monitoring, just repeat the above steps to pair it. Up to four devices are supported simultaneously. You may also watch live view on the monitor. Set the MOOC switch on the receiving IPMAN S to RX. Press and hold the middle button of both IPMAN S for two seconds. Release the button once the pairing icon pops up. Wait for auto pairing process to complete. Once pairing is succeeded, same channel number will be shown at the bottom left of both IPMAN S. Connect HDMI out of the receiving IPMAN S to the HDMI input of the monitor. The live view signal will be shown on the monitor. To add more receiving IPMAN S, just repeat the above steps to pair. Up to four receiving IPMAN S are supported simultaneously. Thank you for watching. Welcome to the IPMAN S operation guide. Step 1. Screw in the two antennas clockwise onto the top of IPMAN S. Step 2. Insert MPF battery to the wheel battery socket. When you hear a click, that means it is properly mounted. If you want to unmount the battery, then press the release button on the left and push the battery upward. If you want to use external power, you may connect DC power cable to the power socket on the left. The range of input power is 6.2 to 18 volt. Step 3. Push power button upward to the on position. Once you see the screen display, then it is successfully turned on. After the use of IPMAN S, please don't forget to turn the power switch to off position and unmount the battery. Thank you for watching. This video will show you how to use IPMAN S in a multi-camera live streaming setup that includes an Android device camera. Scan QR code or search Z camera in Google Play. Download and install. Open and select SSP camera. Click the bottom right SSP icon. Connect this Android device to the router through Wi-Fi. Other cameras should be connected via IPMAN S through cable or wireless to the same router. Including the Android device camera, a maximum of four cameras can be connected. You may use a computer connected to the same router to perform live streaming. Download and install Windows or Mac version Zcam Stream Converter from our website. Open the application, go to Add Camera and enter the IP address shown on the top left of IPMAN S and connect or click scan camera, double click the corresponding IP address, click start live view. The camera live view will be shown on the screen. After that, go to the live streaming tab on the right hand side, enter the live streaming URL and stream key, then click to start live streaming. You may also use OBS live streaming software, install the SSP plugin, then add network camera to achieve similar live streaming results. You may also use Zcam Live iPad app to perform a multi-camera live streaming. Scan QR code or search Zcam Live in App Store. Download and install. Connect iPad to the same router with IPMAN S through Wi-Fi. Open the app. Click the plus sign on the top right. Select 
to add the camera input sources one by one. Enter the live streaming URL and stream key. Then you may start to perform a simple multi-camera live streaming. Thank you for watching. This video will show you how to use IPMAN S for live streaming. First, set the mode switch on the side of IPMAN S to TX. Connect an USB-C to Ethernet adapter to the USB-C port. Then connect through an Ethernet cable to a router. You may use a computer connected to the same router to perform live streaming. Download and install Windows or Mac version Zcam Stream Converter from our website. Open the application, go to Add Camera and enter the IP address shown on the top left of IPMAN S and connect. Or click Scan Camera, double click the corresponding IP address, click Start Live View. The camera live view will be shown on the screen. After that, go to the live streaming tab on the right hand side. Enter the live streaming URL and stream key. Then click to start live streaming. Thank you for watching. This video will show you how to use IPMAN S for multi camera live streaming. If the camera is far away from the router, you may connect IPMAN S to a wireless local area network to perform live streaming. Set the mode switch on the side of IPMAN S to M. Scan QR code or search Zcam monitor in App Store. Download and install. Use USB-C to lightning cable to connect IPMAN S with an iOS device. Open the app. Click the Wi-Fi icon at the bottom right. Available Wi-Fi networks will be shown. Select a network. Enter the Wi-Fi password. Click Confirm to connect. After successful connection, the SSID of the Wi-Fi network and the IP address will be shown on the screen. For other camera positions, use the same steps above to connect to the same wireless local area network. If it is a cable connection, set the mode switch on the side of IPMAN S to TX. Connect an USB-C to Ethernet adapter to the USB-C port. Then connect through an Ethernet cable to the same router. Including the main camera, a total of four cameras can be connected. You may use a computer connected to the same router to perform live streaming. Download and install Windows or Mac version Zcam Stream Converter from our website. Open the application. Go to Add Camera and enter the IP address shown on the top left of IPMAN S and connect. Or click Scan Camera, double click the corresponding IP address, click Start Live View. The camera live view will be shown on the screen. After that, go to the Live Streaming tab on the right hand side. Enter the Live Streaming URL and Stream Key. Then click to start live streaming. If there are multiple cameras connected, they will be shown on the top left of the screen. Click to show the live view of the corresponding camera. Each of the camera stream can be converted according to your need. You may also use OBS live streaming software. Install the SSP plugin, then add network camera to achieve similar live streaming results. Thank you for watching.